Hi, this is Brandon Smiley from ThirstGym.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the side plank and also some of the variations of the side plank that you can utilize. So at first I'm gonna show kind of our first step which is the side plank from knees and then just the regular side plank and then some options that you can throw in there as well to make some modifications at home because it's just a body weight exercise that you can do about anywhere. So first thing you're gonna do with your side plank here is I, I like to have people actually bring their knees up and then back so they understand how these stay together and how these are a unit. And then once we get there, then we're gonna go to our elbow for the rest of our side plank like you regularly would. So on your knees here, up, we're gonna try to shoot this upper hip as high as we possibly can. And then we're gonna bring our hips forward so that we're in a good neutral position here, okay? This should be hard if you do this correctly, okay? So most people, when they do this, they're kind of like this. All right, we're kind of losing what we're wanting from the side plank, and that's focusing on the obliques on the side that's towards the floor, okay? So from the back view here, what we're really wanting is when we get up on our knees here, we want to take this, how it's sticking out, I want to bring this forward, and then string here, pulling me towards the ceiling. Now I'm in a good position. Now my obliques are incredibly turned on. I'm pushing through the floor, through this shoulder here, then my hand can go here on my hip to maintain that I'm trying to pull up the whole time. So here again, here, forward, high, push, reach. That's our position that we want to try to maintain. This is not easy. This is done correctly and you're really trying to actually push. It's a very good exercise, okay? That would be the first place where I'd recommend people start. If you can hold that for about 15 to 20 seconds per side, you're probably good um, to move on to a hands elevated plank, uh, which I didn't bring anything over here for me to demonstrate that, but I'm gonna show you the side plank and all it would be just putting your hand up on some kind of implement like a coach, uh, sofa, couch, chair, box, whatever you got. So same coaching points as our side plank from knees, but also talking about having the feet. So we're gonna be here, feet are dug in. I like to first personally put my foot up on top of my other foot. Some people prefer a staggered stance. Either way, I personally prefer it right on top. I think it's just easier for me. So I'm basically gonna start in the same position I was in. Elbow is underneath my shoulder. I dig my feet in, get in my side plank position, bring this forward, shoot this towards the ceiling, reach, feel the abdominal side, and then we're gonna hold chest stays tall, ribs are down, back is flat, hips are forward. Very hard position to own when done correctly. Here, hold for the given amount of time, and then back down. You can obviously do reps as well. I'm personally not a fan of doing repetitions of touching the floor and coming back up. So basically this kind of thing, I'm not a fan of that. I, I think you get too much knee and hip play and not enough of what you're wanting out of the abdominals. Just do a regular side planking, it'll probably be good. And like I said, you're basically going to take that position, arms elevated on a sofa or a couch, as an option to, if you can't get from the side plank to the regular plank in a smooth transition, that's a way to ease into it, and then you can just lower the height of the implement that your shoulder's on, and then next thing you know, you'll be doing a side plank. Obviously, don't forget to do both sides, and then you're good to go. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.